Hi, I'm Kelly Blanchard, and today I'm going to teach you how to use the Balloon Pop tool in Smart Notebook. Balloon Pop is an interactive tool that you can use to temporarily hide objects on a Smart Notebook. This tool is located in the Lesson Activity Toolkit in the Smart Notebook Gallery. So before we begin, you are going to need to make sure that you have the Smart Notebook software installed on your computer and also have downloaded the Lesson Activity Toolkit. Once that is done, we are going to need to open a blank page in the Smart Notebook software. So I have this lesson plan that I've created already, but I want to insert another activity. So that can be easily done by selecting the green button, inserts a blank page for me to later um, change the color, add a theme to. But for our intensive purposes right now, we're going to utilize the balloon pop tool. What you need to do is type or place information you want to hide and reveal on your smart notebook page. So for me, I am going to type in the word adverb and also, let's see, adjective. So I have two words on this blank page. Next, I'm going to click on the gallery tab and a green text box comes up. I will type the word balloon pop. And hit search. And down below, there's seven items that have shown up for balloon pop. Under interactive multimedia is displayed the balloon pop tool. I simply click and drag the thumbnail of the balloon to my smart notebook page. The balloon is added to my page. Now I'm going to drag the balloon and drop it over my word. My word is now hidden. So I have two words on my page, so I'm going to need to drag, select and drag another balloon and place it over the word adjective. I can control the size of the balloon by selecting the resize handle on the right bottom right corner of the balloon and dragging it with me. The balloon is getting larger. I'm going to do the same thing to the red one. Next, I'm going to customize the balloon by selecting the edit arrow on the left hand corner of the balloon. When I do that, the balloon changes color and I click on the middle text and the text box shows up so that it now allows me to write whatever I would like in the middle of the balloon. So because I have adverb and adjective hidden beneath, I'm going to put in the word quickly on this balloon. And let's see, center it a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this balloon. Only I'm going to choose an adjective. So we'll say pretty. We want to center that as well. Now I've done this, but I haven't saved my work. I have to click on that bottom left hand uh, corner again for that to be saved. So using the balloon pop tool, I would have directions listed on this page to have the student um, read the word out loud it's quickly and they would need to decide if it is an adjective or an adverb. So quickly, is it an adjective or an adverb? They say adverb and they click on the balloon, it pops and they can see that it, yes, indeed, it was an adverb. And the same thing with pretty, they can click on the balloon and find out that yes, that is an adjective. And it's just a fun interactive way for students to um, be able to identify adverbs and adjectives. 
One quick reminder though um, is to click on the balloon when you're done with the sheet and the color and the word will turn up so that the next time that you're ready to use this it's in the form that you would like it. And that's how to use the Balloon Pop Toolkit. Enjoy!